Hello, we are from CSB. Hello, we are from CSB Bank, a proud Indian institution from the BFSI sector. We are excited to launch our CSB mobile banking application to make banking easier and more accessible for our customers. We are creating this video for app upload activity in App Store. In this video, we will be giving a detailed walkthrough on the CSB mobile banking application, showcasing the core functionalities on how a customer can do self-user registration onto CSB mobile banking application, view his account balances, download his account statements, add beneficiary, transfer funds, and check his profile details. Now we will launch the CSB mobile banking application. The app is getting launched. Here we need to, as a user, we need to accept certain mandatory permissions like location, notifications, which is an optional permission, which the user can also skip. User need to accept the mandatory safety guidelines and proceed. Now the user need to complete the SIM and device binding activity within the stipulated time as shown over here. The SIM binding activity is in process and being completed. User need to enter the customer ID in that particular field and proceed. User need to enter the OTP receipt at his registered mobile number and verify the same. Post validation, the user need to create a new M pin for his application and confirm the M pin. And create the new M pin. Now the user need to link his biometric to the application. User need to allow the face ID permission. And the user has successfully registered for CSB mobile banking application. Now the user will go to the login page and enter the already created M pin to proceed to the dashboard. So this is the dashboard of the user. And here you can see the current balances of his account. User can also view the last statements, last statement transactions for his account under the business statement module. Now the user will do a fund transfer activity. The user is in the transfer fund page. Now to proceed with the fund transfer activity, user need to complete the financial authentication process. To complete the financial authentication process, user has certain parameters to verify, that is debit card details, other details, and the net banking credentials. Here the user will go ahead with the net banking credentials. User need to enter the customer ID. and the net banking password. And verify the details entered. Now as you can see, the authentication has been made successful. Now the app will log out and user need to log in again. As the user has already registered his face ID as biometric, <coughs> so the user is, will log in with the face ID details. The user has successfully logged into the dashboard using the face biometrics. User will navigate to the transfer fund page and do a fund transfer. User will select the debiting account and then the user will select the beneficiary account. After selecting the beneficiary account, user need to enter the amount that you want to transfer and the transfer type then user need to enter the remarks in that certain field and proceed
This is a review page where the user can review the details that has been entered by him. User can now confirm this page. Now the user need to enter the OTP sent to his registered mobile number for authentication. Post entry of the correct OTP. The user submits the transaction. And the transaction has been processed. Now user can go to the main dashboard and add a beneficiary to his account. User has gone to the add beneficiary account. User will type the beneficiary account number. and reconfirm the beneficiary account number entered. User will select the account saving type and enter the IFC code of the beneficiary. The IFC code entered will be verified by clicking on the verify call to action button. Now user will to enter the beneficiary name and also enter a nickname for the beneficiary. After adding all these details, user is going to the next screen where he will review the detail that has been entered by him. If found correct, user will proceed with the confirmation of adding the new beneficiary to his account. User may have received a OTP to his registered mobile number which he has to enter. Post entering the OTP, the OTP will be validated. Post validation, the request for adding a beneficiary has been successfully completed. Now user will go to the main dashboard and download a statement for one of his account. User need to click on the account tile. Then user need to scroll through the transactions. and go to the download account statement page. User will download the statement in the PDF format. The statement has been downloaded, which the user can open by entering a password protected file. For successful valuation of the password, taco statement is viewable for the user, which you can download and share further. Now user will go to the main dashboard. And the user will log out from the application. Thank you.